Hi, I'll be showing you how to use Microsoft Words today. So, from your desktop panel, you actually see this Microsoft Words logo. Double click onto it, okay, and you will be launched. Okay, the moment you launch it, right, you will see something like this. Okay, basically, you can see the Microsoft Words file, okay, um, and some of the files. What we can do right now is let's create a blank new document under the blank document portion of it. You click onto the blank document down here, okay. Now, the moment you click onto blank document, right, what you see is that you can see um, the whole arena of all these toolbars right in front over here. Now, let me run through the, the toolbar with you. We have file, we have home, we have insert, design, page layout, reference, mailing, review, and view. Okay, now let's look at it. Okay, what we can do, right, is these are all the old files that um, is available for me. What I can do is I can close this file first. Let me just review the file later okay you will see something like this still let's just give me a second okay you can still see this file okay now i'm in the correct layout which you can actually see now under file okay firstly what we do is that you over you click onto the file right okay you should always save your file first Okay, uh, because you before you proceed into the work, start to do a save first. You click onto the save, you can save it into your computer and find a document file where you want to actually save it anywhere, but you must be able to find it. Now, in this save portion, okay, once you find the documents that you want to save, you can call it maybe for this round, I call it test one. Okay, and the file will be saved under DOCX, okay, for the newer version of the Microsoft Words. Okay, if you're using an older version, it'll be on called DOC. Now, when you click onto this version, you can see that it can be saved using 97 2003 um, Microsoft Words or you can save in different format itself. Most of the time, we save in the first um, format that they actually suggest to us, the latest one, okay, DOCX, or if not, you want to open up in 97, uh, Words 97, okay, uh, 2003 Microsoft Words itself, you can also save under here. Let's save the first one under DOCX. Okay, and we click save okay as you can see test one okay right over here okay uh, i really saved the file under text one okay let me now do some typing okay now let me type in say about us all right so i type in about us then i click enter okay okay the story about us something like this okay you see i've typed in these two line right Okay, in the about us, right, when I highlight it using my mouse, I can actually bold the text if I want to. Okay, on top, as you can see, there is bold, there is italic, there is underline. Okay, I can even italic it, let's see, okay, or even underline it, right, over here. Are we able to do that? Okay, now I can increase the size, as you can see right over here. The size is A, they can increase um, the size font, so I increase the size font about us right all right now when i highlight this i can also change okay the uh the font okay i can change to time new romans which is quite common okay see something like this okay i can actually change it to time new romans which is over here all right now then the story about us okay now let me highlight it and make it bigger drag drag make it bigger right Okay, sorry about us. So let's type in, okay, comma, okay, a beautiful day, something. Then I put a full stop. Then next, when I want to um, just go into the next line, I just simply type in enter on my keyboard. Okay, now, not only that, okay, now I can actually put in scope, S-C-O-P-E, scope, right? Okay, so in scope itself, right, I got num one, you know, I can type in one, okay, then um, about us, number two, okay, you automatically come up with the bullet, okay, uh, testing, okay, objective, number three, okay, um, table, as you can see, okay, I have actually come up with the words document with about us but i don't want it to be one two three okay i want it to be a bullet so you see over here right down here they got numbering okay 
or they got bullets right over here. So I let me choose bullet. I change it into bullet. If I choose numbering, it goes into numbering. So this time round, I choose bullet. Okay, as you can see. Now, not only that, okay, let me put a subheading below the about us. Okay, under about us, I want to have a subheading. But you see, the line is over here, right? The bullet is right below about us. So what I do, okay, I can actually, in this bar, increase the indent. Okay, over here. So I click on to increase the indent. Over here, you see, it becomes A. So I put in test. Enter B. Product A. Then product B. And enter. Okay. You see, when I enter D appear, right? I don't want that. I backspace it. Okay. Remember backspace. Okay. The D will disappear and it will form a line by itself down here. Okay. So as you can see, okay, this self, right? I can choose numbering. Okay. When I click onto the numbering, okay, there's a number of numbering I can choose. I can put as none. I can put one, two, three with a bracket even. A, B, C, A dot B, capital letter. Okay. Or italic one, two, three. Okay, or you know ABC. Let me choose this ABC. Okay, so are we able to use uh, this numbering? Okay, of course the bullet, right? Let's take a look. When you click onto the bullet, they got different type of bullets happening. So I've run arrow. You see now when I choose arrow, it changed. When I choose tick, it changed to tick, right? Okay, let's choose tick. Okay, so what I have covered, I have covered okay the change of the font, the size. Okay, now let me now cover this. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's scroll down. As you can see down here, right? Okay, there is this change case. So let's look at this table. I want to change the case of this table. Okay, into a uppercase over here. So the whole table will be uppercase. Now, if I want to change it into a sentence case, how? Same thing over here. They do have sentence case. So sometimes when we type in a very long sentence, we want um, it to help us to change the center case. We can use something like this, okay, for the center case. Okay, not only that, okay, we can actually capitalize each words. Okay, assuming now the table with chair. Okay, something like this. You see, I want to capitalize each words over here. Okay, you see every of the words capital, right? All right. Mm -hmm. uh, each words itself. Because now the next thing is that, okay, let's look at it. I can change the color of each text. How to change it? Okay, simply drag it. As you can see down here, right, I have covered. Okay, I can cover, uh, highlight it. See, it's highlighted just like I have a highlighter writing through it. Okay, I don't want the highlight right now. Okay, I drag it. No highlights. No color. But I change the font to red color. So I drag it. Okay, I drag over here, drag the font, change it to red color. As you can see, the whole thing becomes red color. Okay, right? Okay, now, some of the statements that we type in can be pretty long. As you can see, the monkey jump over the fence. Okay, assuming I'm typing this. So, now, uh, and it's in black. Okay, now basically if I have uh, a statement like this, okay, I can actually centralize it. You see, this is right alignment, uh, left alignment. This is central. When I click onto here, the whole text go to the center. And right alignment can go to the right. Okay, no need that. Let's go to the center. Let's enter. So far, I have covered this part. Now, you see that there's this X, right? Subscribe, uh, subscribe and... Uh, super subscribe. Let's look at it. What is it? So I press X. Okay. Now I can type in two, one down here. But I super subscribe this part. As you can see, put it below. It goes below. Right? Let me now show you another example. Okay. I type in today. Something like that. Total. Total. I type in total. Increase the font size so that you can see much clearer. Alright? But this time around, I type in two down here. So I superscribe it, but I need to highlight it, superscribe it, and two goes on top. So this is the purpose behind it. Okay. Not only that, okay, let's type in this. Uh, let's see. Over here, text effect. Okay, I can actually choose different type of effect. Like I choose this A, I type in text in and type in. 
test you see okay this is the text effect all right you see that right there's a test but uh this one right is in red color because why the spelling is wrong let's type in something something very simple butterfly b okay you butterfly okay you see butterfly this is the right spelling what if i type in a wrong spelling the butterfly right okay you see that you know it highlights in red color the wrong spelling so what i can do i can just simply click onto here right click right click remember right click it and the um spelling for butterfly appear okay as you can see so what i have covered i have covered this part okay alignment i can even distribute it or justify all the sentence okay which you can play so uh, justifying like i type in okay then enter okay i want to justify everything okay it can be justified okay or okay but it will be left aligned so okay let me now show you okay let's centralize it let me go to google and cut and paste a, a full document for you to actually see how it can be done let's go to google now okay in google itself right okay some of the material okay i can use uh let's see how to create beautiful okay let's see huh? okay see i can actually copy um files okay mm, okay letter of employment something like that let's see okay you see i can copy this text right copy it i go to my microsoft words document okay i can paste it right over here as you can see there's a paste button i can click onto here can paste text only okay you see whatever i copy on the microsoft uh google it can appear down here now you see the line is not justified okay what's the difference i justify it i select all this as you can see down here i can simply just click justify you see all the lines goes in you see the difference click onto here it's not straight when i click on the justify it's straight okay so it, it, the whole documents can be very neat okay as you can see all right okay now next itself right let's go into insert okay i want to insert the picture okay now the moment i insert in a picture i click onto here i can actually copy like example this document insert in this picture okay okay and i just double click it straight go in i can adjust the picture to what size i want okay over here so within the document itself i can have a picture as well not only that okay as you can see right i can also insert in a table how to insert in a table let's look at this table now okay now under the table i can simply click onto the table one row two three okay three columns and maybe a few rows like four rows or five rows six rows okay as you can see this is the table that i created okay i can type in as serial number okay okay you can drag the column go to the center of the bar and drag it then after that i can type in project products something like that okay then i put product a b c d correct okay so now as you can see right i'm actually creating a, a product okay, a table okay price like maybe i put down there one dollar okay two dollars okay i go to home again i want to change the color of the words okay or maybe it's too big i reduce it correct change the color to black color everything can be in black then down here can be one two three four five okay so uh i've just inserted in shown you i've inserted in a table okay also a picture okay for you to actually do very simple uh, microsoft words okay not only that okay let's look at it over here they have a header when i click onto the header what happened okay it allows me to choose the different type of header that i want now i can choose uh you know a blank okay header let's type in down here so the header will be at the top of the document you can put in your company name by us singapore chamber of commerce and industry right okay then at the scci.sg okay something like this now then i also can insert in a footer as you can see the footer over here let's just click in below i click in something like this singapore 
chamber of commerce and industry. Okay, very simple. Okay, I have actually added in a footer. Now, I can also add in a page number. As you can see right over here, the page number. Okay, at the bottom of the page. Okay, and they can show me whether I want it to be left on the left hand side, in the center, or on the right hand side. So let's put in the center. Okay, I click onto here. You see page two. Let's scroll up. See, this is page one, right? So I double click onto the words. Okay, you see, this is words. So this is the, the header. This is the text that I have just keyed in. This is the page that I have just keyed in, right? Okay, right? So very simple. Now, of course, I can also add in the date if I want to. I can enter. Okay, I want to select the footer side. I can add in the date and time if I want. So I add in the date and time. They will give me the format based on the date or you want to put in even the time right over here. So let's put on the date 16. I put in the date, this format. See, it appears below in all the pages, the date. Okay, so this is something about the footer part which I can I have created. Okay, let's take a step backward. Okay, now there is a the insert part. I have actually covered it. Now let's look at the chart. Okay, I have actually show you the picture. Of course, online picture you can go online. Um, let's see. Okay, under insert. Okay, let's look at the chart. Under here, you can actually insert in a chart. Okay, or shape. Let's look at the shape first. Okay, when you click onto the shape, you see down here they got plenty of shape. If you want to put an arrow, select the arrow. Okay, it can appear. Correct. Right. If you want to insert again, and another shape, maybe uh, a plus sign. Okay, a plus sign. Right. You can actually do that. Okay. Not only that. Okay. You can also insert in like what I mentioned just now a chart. So let's insert in say a pie chart. Correct. Right. So a pie chart. So I double click onto it. Okay, the pie chart will appear below. Then the, a table will come out. Okay, then I can put in the sales figure, example. Okay, uh, based on uh, percentage, of course, uh, 10. Okay, down here is 10. Then the second quarter is 30%. Then after that, okay, uh, third quarter is uh, 30%. And fourth quarter, right? Okay, is basically uh, on the uh, okay thirty percent. Okay, so as you can see, see 30, 30, 30 and ten percent. Okay, of course this one I can delete away just now the logo. Okay, so the first quarter I can actually simply type in okay today sales. I can change okay using the Excel. Then the second quarter, third quarter I can change this into car. Then the next one can be buy. You know, we have to play around with it. Uh, this one can be okay, as you can see, second quarter. Now let's look at how it looks like. Close it, close it. See? Okay, the table appeared. Okay, 30%, 30%, 30, and this is 10. Okay, and you can see today sales, second quarter, car, which I stated um the under the ledger. Okay, I want to amend it, I double click onto it again. Okay, okay, um, okay. They can amend the colors, okay, the type of fields that I want to, like green color, okay, uh, okay, for each, okay, change everything, so, yeah, so, you know, you can actually change, uh, just the effect of the everything, but, uh, it's better to use what they actually offer, okay, 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 format. So, basically, uh, it's a very simple things to actually use the to create a table okay next let's look at it insert design okay now of course the design part uh, you can choose they will actually have templated design for you to choose once you change the design the whole wordings will actually change the design as you can see when we select this they follow uh, this template the design for this okay or this okay or different so uh, minor change but you can choose uh, a template that is suitable for you in terms of the formatting of the word Page layout, okay. Now, assuming that you want to change uh, the margin, okay, as you can see, okay, they got different margins, okay, you want narrow margins, you want moderate margins, uh, if not, you can use the, the standard one, in narrow margins, okay, it, the text will have uh, more space, as you can see, okay, this is narrow margin, or you want a moderate margin, as you can see, the side, okay, over here will increase, 
Not only that, you can also change the orientation of the page. Example, you click here, you can change it into a landscape. Okay, you click onto here, as you can see, the whole page becomes uh, uh, in the landscape mode itself. Okay, let's see whether I can I view it smaller. Okay, control, okay, minus. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So in the landscape mode, okay, so it will be a very long. Okay, zoom. Okay, let's see. Uh, zoom is 75%. On the screen you see this is the landscape mode right because i use the view to actually see so landscape mode okay if i want it to be a landscape mode a document file in the landscape mode all right let's go to home again it's covered right you want to find a text okay example i want to find butterfly b u t t e r f okay you see it will help me to search because some of uh, the time itself, we have a very long uh, documents and you want to find specific keywords, you can actually find using this method, using this find button down here. Correct? Okay, so let's look at, um, let's close this. Okay, under insert, okay, I have cover. Of course, if you want to be more advanced, you want to add in equation down here. They got equation, okay, which you can type in your math equation. Okay, if not right, okay, you can actually insert in symbols. Example, they got different type of symbols like divide sign. Okay, so you need a divide sign, it can actually appear down here. Okay, so the insert bar allows you to do something like this. Okay, not only that, the design I cover it. Okay, the page layout. Okay, like I mentioned, the orientation. Of course, you want to change your whole. A document size to an A5 size, then it can fit into the A5 size. It can also be done. Okay. Now, um, reference. Okay. Um, if you need a reference, basically, example. Let's go to the top bar. Okay. Example. Okay. The story behind us. A beautiful day. Okay. You can type in insert a end note. Okay. Or insert a footnote. Okay. So insert in a footnote. Okay. Under here, there's a reference. Okay. So below, right? Okay. Under here. You see, as you can see, the footnote. So source, you are, okay, from, okay, uh, maybe a website, www.scci.sg. That is for reference, okay, if you want to refer it, okay. Then after that, you see, I can add in an employment verification letter. I want to add in another, insert another footnote. It becomes two down here. So it will appear two, okay. Source from SCCI live dot sg something like this right so the reference is actually to take reference uh to for you to actually you know uh, mention that uh this particular sentence is taken from where okay and where is the source from of course the mailing part okay um this one we don't cover this is more advanced already the review if you've got spelling mistakes straight away they'll actually uh prone it up to you the view just that i've shown you basically you can print view okay or you can zoom it out okay into certain size for you to actually see on your panel itself now the file okay when you save it okay you will save as doc but you can also save as okay uh under document itself okay under you know where you want to save you can also save it as a pdf which is very important as you can see pdf pdf is a uh, acrobat reader and uh, basically it cannot be changed okay so when you save it Okay, basically, in, um, no one can actually amend it, so you appear as a PDF file. So that is some that's something that's very good also, which allows you to send it to your friends and they cannot edit it. Okay, so this is something that uh, you might want to explore using. So the file save, you can save in different format. Like I mentioned, okay, let me show you the format again from Word documents, okay, to the older version of Words, but mainly we uh, save as PDF files or our Microsoft Words format. Okay, which is the more common one. Make sure you know where you save the file. Of course, if you want to print, you can just simply click on the print. It must be connected to your printer. Then you are able to print. Okay, so um, okay, let's go to home. Okay, now when you make a mistake, right? There is always a, a undo typing or redo. Let me now show you example. Okay, I type in a beautiful day. Okay, then I put enter, then I type in enter uh, A, B, C. Okay, I don't want A, B, C, I undo it, you see. I click undo, it disappears, a beautiful day. I redo, okay, it appears again. So the undo and redo, right, allows you to actually move forward and move backward of the, the things that you have actually, the last um, type 
last uh, um, actions that you have taken so you can actually use this uh, which is very useful as well okay for your work okay okay now the base base uh, the wording I mentioned just now okay that's all for my Microsoft basic itself I uh, hope that uh, it helps you in creating your first Microsoft uh, document uh, sincerely hope that you can practice and uh, if you face any problem just leave a message below and uh, we'll try as much as possible to arrange a, a short class to help you if uh, we, we can thank you very much that's all